Hello Vikings and welcome back to another Awesome Grid Valhalla video. In this one, we are gonna go through two locations for the window assassinations, aka the Italian Brotherhood challenge from the Ubisoft Connect. The rewards for that one, they are 30 XP for the Ubisoft Connect and the Italian Brotherhood back that too. So let's go. The first location was shown on the map just a moment ago. So in Kent, in Canterbury we go and here we have a pretty good spot for the window assassinations. I already made a video about this last Christmas. So if you want to check the original video, I will leave that one in the pinned comment. And also I will leave a second location in the timestamp. So you can skip there if you want. If you don't want to miss anything, keep watching. In Canterbury, you want to come to this watchtower. And no, the kills won't count if you are on the lower ledge. You have to be right below the window in order the assassinations to count. If you are on the lower part, that is usually safer. But those assassinations won't count. The funniest thing did happen. So when I was trying to lure the guards to the window and used the Torn of Slumber ability to put them to sleep, I accidentally ran and jump kicked. The guard went through the window and actually that was counting. So I assassinated two, that guard was my third. And yeah, somehow that was counting as an assassination, I don't know why. Let me know if you are gonna try that and if it's counting for you. Also, if you want to play safe, create a manual save or a quick save before you come to these locations. Either one, this one or the one that is coming in one moment outside of the hostile area. And after you are done with the assassinations, get out of the conflict if you are in one, then reload from that save. Or you can fast travel between these two locations and enemies should be resetted if they are not load from the save. If that doesn't work and the enemies are still not spawning, I'm afraid you have to quit to the title screen and start all over again or close the game and reopen the game. But let's go to the location number two. This window assassination spot is located in Sussex in Port Kester. And huge shout out to Paulus of the Shadows who did share this location a while ago. Link to his video will be in the description box down below. So be sure to check him out. And yeah. Thank you Paulus, this location it is awesome. Actually I have to say, this location it is much better than the original one that I was showing. But combining the two of them might be actually perfect. So fast traveling between, you are not losing XP, you are not losing silver or anything like that. But in Port Kester, what you want to do, you want to find this tower. And from here you need to lure the enemies and again the lower part where you can assassinate those don't count I don't know why but it is what it is so you have to be in upper sleds or just right outside of the window the lower part it is not counting just saying here or the first location if the enemies are staying alerted while you are outside of the window try to go on the lower part and the part I'm meaning it is the not counting lower part of the assassination. Well, not this low or this low. <laughs> but just one step down there you wa might want to whistle. And you are actually noticing the little white glow thingy when you are hiding. That is the key where you know you are doing something right. So if the enemies are staying alerted, try to go one step down, whistle. Wait a few seconds and after that go to the upper part and assassinate your targets. So let's see how this will look in speed mode and also you can try to lure the guards and alert guards on purpose and yeah let's see let's see.
just like this and why you want to do this well this week the week 23 of 2022 and perhaps later if you are watching this later we are having the challenge once again where we need to perform assassinations from a window the first one it is the italian brotherhood where you are getting the tattoo and the second one it is the fall of a man where you are getting Cupid of context B and 5 opals to spend in game. So let's claim the Italian Brotherhood tattoo and let's see how it is looking and spoiler alert. In my opinion it is much better than the other ones like the AC Valhalla, AC Unity, the other tattoos that we have been getting from Ubisoft. So into our settlement to meet Tobe. And let's change the back that too. Also, if you are new to the game, Tove might not be the tattoo artist for you, but you are finding the new tattoos at the bottom. They are also marked. This is how the tattoo is looking. So, in my opinion, this is the best tattoo from all of the AC tattoos. But for now, I really want to thank my channel members for being just awesome and supporting the channel. You can do that as well, but for now, let's roll the outro. Thanks for watching. Remember to hit the like, hit the sub, turn on the notifications so you won't ever miss anything that I upload or when I go live. Also Vikings, have fun, stay safe, be strong. Hope to see you in the next one. Skatha, over and up, and bye bye.